Today, Kevin and I are going to be making the Alessi We Have Neapolitan Bean Soup and Tuscan White Bean Soup. These were mailed to us from Michael in Kansas. He found them at Brahms and they were $2.59 each. So, both of them bean soups, both of them, the cooking instructions are the same. You bring four and a half cups of water to a boil in a three quart pot, then you add the package of dry soup mix and stir for one minute. Stir frequently to avoid possible overflow reduce heat to medium and cook uncovered for 12 minutes soup should be bu uh, bubble during cooking and stir occasionally so these have the same exact instructions so I'm gonna uh, our water's already boiling I'm gonna show you the Neapolitan first let's look at it under the light here so you can see the spices are at the top mainly and then you get the little noodles in the bottom so I'm gonna pour this in Ooh, lots of colors going on there. That's why it's called Neapolitan, right? So there's a lot going on there. And uh, get that clump, make sure you uh, disperse that clump of uh, seasonings. And then, I'll stir that in just a second. Just need long enough to pour this in my other pot. This is the Tuscan White Bean. And it looks like there's a lot going on in this one too. So, pour that in. And so we're gonna follow the instructions that I just gave you and then we'll be back when it's all ready. So this is the Neapolitan bean soup. It looks really good and the nice colors. And then this is the Tuscan white bean soup and it looks good as well. It's just, it looks like there's a lot less going on with that. Uh, so we're gonna let these cool for a few minutes because the steam, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the steam is rolling off of these and then we'll be back to give them a try. So the Tuscan white bean soup says, uh, white beans and a rich, thick broth laden with the taste of vegetables such as carrots, peas, spinach, broccoli, and garlic. The taste of this rustic yet elegant Tuscan classic will long be remembered. Four servings are in the container. One third cup uh, prepared. Uh, sorry, one cup prepared is 150 calories. Four servings. I would have thought that would have been at most two. Two. I know. Okay. I probably could have eaten it all myself, honestly. <laughs> I'm like a dribble. I'm just gonna bring it over to me. That's really nice. This is, um, to me, this is um, different than your traditional bean soup, or at least bean soup that I've had growing up. My mom, uh, when she she always made like um, soup beans, or uh, you call them like what are you navy beans or and pinto beans and stuff like that. She never put pasta in hers. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just small pieces too. And with this pasta, those little bitty pieces of pasta, it makes a huge difference with the texture, yeah. I think. I and, love the texture. It also makes it to where they can be cheaper on there and not putting me beans, just to be honest. Yes. You know, the pasta it's is a, a filler. filler. It's a filler. It's to make it go Absolutely. Longer. It's not a bad flavor. It's, um, it's okay. I don't like the carrots in there because they're still kind of firm. Oh, see, I didn't have an issue, but I, I like carrots. Yeah. I had no issue with any of it. I, I, I love the difference in the textures because if, it, if they had had all bean and no pasta, you the pasta adds a little bit of a... It's, What's the chewiness? Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not, but it's chewier than the bean, right. and so there is a difference in texture. Yeah, because yeah, you could almost... Well, the carrots give you some chewy too. I like the okay. uh, the flavors of it too. Yeah, I don't amazing. think it's uh, you, you don't. They said spinach. I don't necessarily no. taste spinach or it's broccoli or anything. It, <laughs> yeah, it's mostly mostly just a bean flavor. But you do get. Um, I think there's like a, a garlicky flavor mm -hmm. to this. Got some as well. garlic and onion powder. I think that's really yeah, nice. It's good. It's definitely not bad. I don't. I, don't, I would eat it. Okay, this one is the Neapolitan bean soup. And it says, um, see, let me find out where the, uh, the Neapolitans perfected this thick three bean multi-vegetable pasta soup, which entitled them to rename the dish in their own dialect. And it thus became known as pasta fazool. Mm -hmm. So, um, it says one cup prepared is 150 calories. Same thing. Okay. Make the sure the some. this one the white one it was a thicker like broth than this one. Mm -hmm. This one's more soupy. 
That tastes a lot like a vegetable soup with uh, beans added mm -hmm. for texture. Almost like a beef and bean. Yeah. It, it's it, got a meaty kind of flavor. Yeah, but but it does remind you mm. of a celery of, of a vegetable soup. Yes, there is meat, so I guess vegetable beef. Yeah, vegetable beef. That's vegetable what I was thinking. Beef. That's what okay. I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, gotcha. Vegetable beef. Well, see, when I call everything vegetable soup, because when I make vegetable soup, I put meat in mine, yeah, and we people are like, people are like, that's not vegetable soup because it has meat in it. Um, I know, but it's that, a meaty vegetable soup. <laughs> that's how when I grew up, that's what we yeah. called it. We called it vegetable soup. But that tastes like a vegetable soup. I, I do have to say, it's a. It tastes like it's. It's better than a Campbell's because there are very distinct pieces in it, um, and you can see them. Mm -hmm. And Campbell's you know, like the soup, and stuff like yeah, that. like there, theirs is so uh, like compressed and and like they took a sieve to it or something to where you don't get hunks, chunks, and stuff. And this one you do. Yeah, it's got peas and carrots. Mm -hmm. You can see it all. I think the carrots are cooked better in that one too. Um, I like this. I like this one. It has a nice flavor to it, but I actually like the, yeah, the white bean better. Mm -hmm. I think I like the flavor of the white bean mm -hmm. better, but yeah. I like the texture of that one. I can I can go with that. I can agree with that because there's more texture differences going on yeah. in the Neapolitan. Whereas this one's more of a, a pasty like right one texture kind of thing. But the flavor of that is really much good. richer. And then this, believe okay. it or not, even though there's so much going on with this. Although I do like the meaty flavor yeah. of that. Because I think all they've done is put in like a beef bouillon or something like that. It's just a that bouillon flavor. Uh, but I like it that, like I got celery. Mm -hmm. One of my bites had a, a piece of celery in it. So I really tasted that celery. It, it's nice. They're both good. I do have to say though, uh, that these are, they're calling them bean soups. They are both primarily pasta. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, they're, they're definitely pasta. filling with pasta. Yes, so I do think. You don't even see that many beans, honestly. No, you don't. <laughs> you really don't. It is, I would say 90% is oh, yeah. pasta. And then the rest is, is a little bit of beans and carrots and stuff like that, a pea here and there. Uh, it These are mainly pasta soups, but I do think they're good. Yeah, they're I do good. like them. Yeah. So, uh, Michael, thank you very, very much for sending these to us because uh, it's something new for us to try. We really appreciate it. If anyone else has had this brand, let us know in the comments below because it, it was, like I said, it's new to us. We had not heard of Alessi before. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.